Okay, we concur. Speed break coming in, huh? An hour ago, they were going 17,000 miles an hour. Range 96. Edwards has acquis visual acquisition on TV. Out of 100,000 feet, Mark 3.6. You have positive seats. That's the... Uh, Rick, you're a little uh, garbled there, if you could say again. The boats are coming out now at 3.4, and say again, your last. Positive seats. Means they can eject now. It's in there somewhere, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Air Force's long-range monochrome camera. In just a minute or two, we'll get more pictures. 90,000 feet and a range of 74 miles. There you are, middle of your screen now. That's one of the chase planes. Some of these planes themselves send back pictures of the spacecraft, which is now an aircraft. Houston, probably air data looks good on board. Roger, we're looking at it. Now about six minutes away from land. Columbia, Houston, you can take the air data. Okay. 82,000 feet, Mach 2.5, range 57. You know, they're 57 mile, nautical miles out now, uh, dropping fast. They're in the area that they call the Terminal Area Energy Management Area. And Houston, uh, PTI-5, Mark. Roger. And in the next five minutes, they will drop from 82,000 feet down to... Everything's uh, looking right on the money there, Joe, and we have a wind update for you and a weather update. Uh, you've got a very thin layer at 25,000. The winds... Airborne are as briefed and on the ground at 220, 18 knots, gusting to 24. Altimeters 30, decimal 07. You got 60 miles viz underneath. Over. Hey, good. Sounds like a good old ready day. Yes, sir. Out of 68,000. 39 miles range, Mach 1.5. Okay, PTI 6. Mark. They're still trying to slow it down, going faster than the speed of sound, still. Think about this. Plane will continue to fly the They test. drop 9,000 feet in the last 40 seconds of flight. <laughs> That's a dive. They're right out there if we could only see them. <laughs> 60,000 feet. Columbia, Houston, that's your convenience. Transfer the state vector from the past. Some of the crowd the sees them. They're almost done reaching the ticket. There they are. You can state see the vector contrails transfer the Pass to BFS. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, boy. PDI 7, Mark. I can see him, John. Yeah, so can I. Straight, directly in the sky above Edwards. Boy, is that something. Range 27 miles. So it's now the speed of sound, 27 miles to go before touchdown. We should hear the sonic boom in a minute. Yep, Roger, you're tracking right down the line. It will make a giant sweeping turn and then come in on runway 23. There it is. Oh. Double sonic boom. <laughs> bang, bang. And a cheer. 42, That's one of the few times that sound is comforting. It's, it's one of the few times it's legal in the United States. <laughs> the fact is that they don't call this an airplane. I mean, he's told to show you intercepting the hack. And a reminder, you've got the strong winds out of the west. Now out of, out of 38,000 feet. They call it an aerospace aerodynamic vehicle, and it's exempt from sonic boom regulation for now. And we got a little bit of PTI zero in, but not too much. Roger. Little little tiny bit of PTI zero. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Okay, we're going to have to go to the next one. Good television picture. 25,000 feet. Oh, boy, it's a great visual picture I mean, here at Edwards. You can just see it dining out of the sky. It is something to see. Hey, 
Head face we're showing 290 at uh, 20,000. Okay, we're about to be with you in right. I got it. Check body flap to manual. A little chase plane right behind it. T-38. Yeah. Knots at 18, Boot Gibson. It comes in at 201 knots at about the speed of, well, a DC-9 lands at 185 miles an hour, so that it's about that okay, rate. Okay, speed brakes sweep start now. Roger, still just slightly low on the energy, looking okay. Yeah. Joe Engel has made hundreds, perhaps thousands of landings here at Edwards Air Force Base. So this will be familiar territory as he looks down. This may be his best one. Nine miles range at 13,000. Speed coming close. Gee. Roger, slightly below glide slope. You're below the glide slope. You have a go for auto land. Okay, Rick. Thank you, sir. Okay, Rick, we're Can you Roger. imagine below glide slope as close in and as high as he is? Yeah. It's a very steep glide slope. Nine thousand two thirty. Check speed brake auto. Okay. There's speed the big flare. Auto. Everything's auto. Thank you. I think the computer's flying it now. Next thing we'll hear is the gear lowering. They're going to have to do that, which is a critical point right. in this flight plan. Right. We'll hear pre-flare, and he'll take it back from the computer about that time, I believe. And by pre-flare, boy, it's coming right at us. When it begins to break that high sink rate, but uh, 2,500 feet above the ground. Joe will take it back. No computer is going to steal this landing from him. 220. You know, it's amazing. When you see it on television, you don't have the perception that you do watching it visually. Uh -huh. It's just uh -huh. dropping out it's of the dropping sky. Dropping out of the sky, yeah. It really is remarkable. Well, it drops about 13,000 feet per minute. Yeah, All it, under control. 40,000 feet it drops. Yeah, 9,000 feet in the last okay, Start the nose up. Speed brakes are closed for 270 knots. He's starting the nose up. Chase concursion. Columbia is clear land, link in 2 3, wind 2 1 0 8. Okay. All the hydraulics are working well, Joe Kerwin. He's clear to land. Three down. Oh, lovely. Oh, boy. 100. 50. 30. 20. 10. Five, three, mm. And Columbia and proves the basic premise that you can send these things up more than once. It's never five, been done before, three, and you've just seen it done before down. your very eyes. The world's first you, reusable spaceship. It's a very nice ending to what has to be a disappointing flight for these two gentlemen, Engel and Truly. They had to cut it short. They got a lot of their missions done, but they came back in very good form. And the important thing is to them and to NASA and, of course, to the American people is that the Columbia can go again. I don't think it's a disappointing time, flight at all. Time, when Bob today, Parker said that in Houston, 6, I wanted to box his ears. 13 minutes, uh, 10 seconds. All the important uh, objectives have been achieved. Repeat but if you wanted to be up there for five days, time. Joker, when you've been waiting for 15 years, and you only get to stay for two and a half. I'll bet their feelings at this point are not those of disappointment. Uh, I'll take your word for it. You know better than I do. 40 seconds. T-minus 30. 30 minutes, 30 seconds of counting.
Chase one, this is Imitate. We're tracking the lady outbound. Stand by for the call for IP. Yeah, Chase one, this is Imitate. We're tracking the lady outbound. Roll y'all maneuver complete. Everything looking good. Keep us 26. Room, Ken. Okay. Throttle down. Looks good. We're plus one minute, Chase. Chase one, we expect to call in about 45 seconds from safety. Stand by. One minute, 20 seconds. Check your focus, buddy. T plus one minute, 45 seconds. Everything looking good. 923, you're out of focus. Again, silver one nine. All right, Roger, you're out of focus. Stand by for vector station. Roger. Roger. Chase one, turn left to a heading of three zero zero vector to the IP. Okay, we'll uh, start working that way then, Imitate. Roger. We're two minutes and fifteen seconds outbound. Catch your focus again, Bobby. SRB set. You want to take a Columbia Houston, that's your convenience. Transfer the state vector from the past to the BFS. You're almost done readable, Rick. Say again, please. Roger, a state vector transfer, pass to BFS. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you very much. DJI 7, mark. Mark. Roger, you're tracking right down the line. Columbia Houston, we show you intercepting the hack, and a reminder, you've got the strong winds out of the west. Now okay, out of, thir of 38,000 feet. Okay, thank you, Rick. And we got a little bit of PTI zero in, but not too much. Roger. Columbia Houston, about 3,000 feet low now, out of 24,000 feet. Look at that. And Chase, we're showing 290 at uh, 20,000. Okay, we're about to be with you at 19. Check body flap to manual. Roger, body flap gone, manual. Okay, 
Okay, speed break sweep start now. Roger, still just slightly low on the energy, looking okay. Roger, slightly below glide slope. You're below the glide slope. You have a go for auto land. Okay, Rick. Thank you, sir. Okay, Rick. We're on auto. Roger. Check speed brake auto. Okay, speed brake, body flap auto, everything's off. Thank you. Okay, 2,500 feet, speed brakes are closed, we're at 270 knots. Chase concurs. Columbia is clear land, link bed 2-3, wind 2 one Touchdown. Welcome home. Thank you, Chase. 